Welcome everybody to the Monday, April 25th, 2022 meeting of the Conway Select Board, which at 6.30 p.m. will become a joint meeting with the Conway Finance Committee. Hereby call the meeting to order. First item on the agenda, approving the minutes of April 19. They look good. They look good to me. Sorry, I couldn't be here. All in favor? Aye. We your motion, yeah. Uh, yeah your motion, yeah. second. Yes. Yeah. All in favor, aye. Aye. Unanimous. Three warrants. Um, the accounts payable warrant, <coughs> excuse me, of $116,761.70. Payroll warrant of $113,164.03. And the payroll deduction warrant of $28,776.15. I move that we approve those warrants. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Unanimous. Meetings attended by select board meeting members. None for me last week. And none for me too. Where'd last week go? No. It's yeah, it was a lot of really <laughs> nice days. Yeah, maybe that's it. I was traveling a lot last week. Oh, is it? <laughs> um, yeah, we. What meetings did we have besides with the lawyer? It's okay. You okay? No. <laughs> you that does not look anything like the lease. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? The good news about your posture is you don't have to bend down to get to get keep out of the screen. <laughs> we met with a lawyer. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> Oh boy. When your memory is worse than mine, we're in trouble. <laughs> I do have we're in trouble. That's why we write these things down. Yeah. If it's not written down, <laughs> it's in her calendar. Um, all right. Ron is here. Good. You're up. Well, yep. We're at new business, and you're first on the new business list. Highway department request for reimbursement of Chapter 90 funds and request for road work. It says projects, but it looked like there was just one project. Oh, Shirkside Road. There's but but who's, who sack in East Guinea from last year? No. Nope. I mean, well, them are reimbursement ones. All right. There's who's that? East Guinea and Main Poland Road. So we apply for a reimbursement the year after they're all finished? They, uh, I've been a little slow on No, uh, I'm not. That, <laughs> just, 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 uh, they've been done since. June yeah. of last year. So okay, okay. Um, I have to wait for billing and you know, payment and then a check come back. So yep. a little bit angry. So then when when we get this money reimbursed, it just goes into your it goes budget, back into your no, I don't or how does my that, budget. How does that, like where it's does already it, been spent. Okay, so it just goes back into our general coffers for. It goes back into the chapter nine. Yeah. Okay. To reimburse because they've already been paid. Okay. So the East Guinea Road is six thousand six hundred and fifty-four dollars and forty cents for the ten percent chip seal that we did on it. And then Main Poland Road. $88,162.32. Kuzik Road was $53,000. So we have to approve, the, approve these? Uh, yeah. I, 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 no, that's. Great. I mean, you know, I, I don't see anything controversial Great. here. Great. We're gonna get the money back. Awesome. <laughs> All in favor. Uh, we might get more chapter ninety money later on this year. Sorry. Did somebody make a motion? No, I don't. No, think we're still discussing. 
Do we ready to make a motion? Yeah. Uh, I'd you know, make the motion that we uh, we sign the forms to apply for uh, state aid re uh, reimbursement. I second that. And, 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 do, and Nick, is there a, is there a new project though? Yes. Yeah, that, okay. All right. So we should probably vote on that one separately. So I'll vote aye. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So that's what you were wondering about. Yeah. All right. So first, the motion for last year's reimbursement of uh, that Susak and Poland. Poland. Yeah. Bob and made the motion. I seconded. Yeah. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And then a separate motion for Maine Poland and no, no, Maine South Poland Shire, was uh, reimbursed South, South Shirkshire. Yes. Yeah, and the new project. It's a, okay. South Shirkshire is um, basically from Thompson Road to Wild Hill. Full reclamation, one and a half inch binder. Uh -huh. Now, There's a lot of trees close to that road too. Yes. We're only going to trim what we have to get. There's one section that we want to take out, small tree. It's just small. Did you notice that Eversource is working on their project now? Yes. So I don't think that'll affect you any, but they they are going to be doing a bit of. Uh, putting putting down uh, uh, hay bales and protection to keep any of their work from going into the stream uh, on South Churchill. Uh, no, they've they've created a road that goes up into where they're building. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. building so, for new, new power new, lines. for new power lines. And so at the bottom of that project, right by the stream, they're putting they're putting protection in. The hay bales aren't the protection. It's got to be the barrier. The cloth barrier is what's required. Both things. Right? Both, both. Uh, so South Shirtshire Road is a dollar amount of one hundred fifty-eight thousand five hundred forty-four dollars. And just so you know, right now the we have a bid price on the asphalt of sixty dollars a ton. Um, proper, um, roughly estimate that in July it'll be eighty plus. From what I'm hearing, but can we lock that price in now? If we, it's possible? already locked. In okay, it year. is. There is escalation stuff in it, so it'll probably end up being a considerable more money. So. Taking that into account, like on chapter 91, we still have one. Because it's probably going to be the same for Shovel Falls Road when we do that. And that, that was one of the things about the increase in chapter 9 that chapter 90 from the state has been flat for 12 years. Mm. Flat for ours has been and slowly going down. Because the cost of materials has been double digit increase every year. Not, yeah, going where we should. Yeah. Um, that's one project. The second project is Old Cricket Hill, which is a road up to the hill. Want to do a reclamation in a two and a half inch line around there. Just doing that on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. Oh man. <laughs> it won't be on a dump day. <laughs> You for your masochistic speaking. That's probably the heaviest uh, traveled road in Uh huh. Certain day. Certain day. Well, oh, oh yeah, a lot though in those days. Wow. So that total was sixty-one thousand nine twenty. Yeah. If you if you need to one week or two weeks or whatever to close it down on that Wednesday, just do the whole thing. If, just, it shouldn't be put the sign up and get people notice. Shut the dump on a Wednesday. I go on a Wednesday. <laughs> well, a lot of people go on Wednesday. Yeah. Know, but, you know. <laughs> it's not like it hasn't been shut down before. Right. Yeah. Not voluntarily. Well, 
Okay. If we can avoid it, let's not it's, shut the it down. Shouldn't be an issue. <laughs> And both them projects, the town, I mean, we're doing some drainage and other work besides what in the chapter nine. So Old Cricket Hill is 61,000? Yeah. 61,900. So, and you say you're like two and a half inch binder and then reclamation. If this was all new, City of Boston road construction. What would those measurements be? Like, well, I mean, are we, I'm reclaiming it because the base is so bad to try to straighten it out. It's it gives us a trying to help reclaiming it because it stays in place, mm -hmm. but it, so it gives us a a, a better base. Did you store that out. up by the garage? No, this doesn't leave. It oh, just gets it's ground in place. place. It oh, I see. Great. And so it gives you a better thing to put the black top on. And then in a few years, we'll put a, a chip seal on it. More than likely. And then there's Matthews Road. Matthews. There's Matthews Road, which is, we've already done the reclamation in the paving to binder. So this is just the top. To, um, That's why this one is cheap. <laughs> Relatively. Six. Seven thousand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is like what we did to Matthews. I mean, who's in, <coughs> in Main Fallen and East? Yeah. And you're going to get to uh, Silver Falls Road at some point. Yeah. So that <laughs> hopefully going to be done by sometime in June. Finish. It's going to go with the East Road right here. And what part of Shelburne Falls Road is that? From New Hall Road to, um, I'm trying to make it go down to um, Tower Line. Originally, it was just the um, basic road. So bad. Yeah. So I'm doing something a little different there. I'm doing the shim on the road. What's that mean? Black top, a, a layer of black top, and then. Um, a chip seal on top of it. The layer of black top will shim, you know, kind of flatten the roll out. It's not terrible. That's why I decided that we would go that way instead of doing the reclamation. Just to get farther, because on the other end is on our name much better. <laughs> so I'm trying to get, I don't want to end up like that. Yeah. <laughs> No, no, the road is actually great now. I mean, it's a dirt road yeah, now, but it's, but, it's, but, it's, but it's well graded. You don't have to swerve as much. Yeah. <laughs> no, there's, I mean, it's a straight shot. Waley's not so good. Uh, I mean, wherever you go, it's not so good. Yeah. Really? Yeah. The row was terrible the other day. My goodness. Unknown oh. caller. But Buckland's spending $6 million on that road. Uh, the state is, I, I think, oh, right? Well, I'm <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, Which was it's been a long time coming. Yeah. Crazy money for what they're doing over there. And it, didn't, it didn't appear to me that that needed to be. Well, it's the sewer, extending the sewer hookup, too. Uh, that part probably that part didn't need to be. But the, what they're doing in the road up there, taking all the good gravel out and bringing other gravel back in. <laughs> The road wasn't out of shape or nothing. It just and had flushed out. So mm. It wasn't out of shape. They issued kidney belts on each end of the road. The road was out of shape, but the, you know, but the road, the road, road is itself is pretty decent. That's not our road. Yeah. Thank goodness. Well, should we make a motion? Make a motion. I, sure. I move that we approve both of these. Um, Three. Three, yeah. Wait, I thought there was the dump road. <laughs> well, I mean, sorry, <laughs> Old Cricket Hill Road. Um, Old Cricket. Matthews to Wilder Hill, and then. No, that's um, Church. Oh, sorry. And Matthews. And Matthews. Okay, all, all right. I move that we approve those three projects. I would second it. David? Aye. 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 It's unanimous. Yeah. It's from Phil, right? Today. 
They're the originals somewhere. Oh, yeah. He's right got them, and we've got a signature table over there. Signature. <laughs> <laughs> Just the chair signs it. No. Nope. We all okay. I need these two. two so. Oh, I got all three of us. Should also, we should also, all three of you. I screwed up because I was supposed to see Mike today. Oh. I'll get all and have him sign this. You want to pass those down? We can sign them right now and Brian can leave with. I assume you want to leave with them signed. Yes, that would be great. Oh, new things. Mario, you're paying the school, the school road. Mario's getting the um, the highway garage. She's all getting the top. I'm going right out to one. So are all these on one signature, or do we have to sign it six times? We got to well, sign them one that's... each. Yeah. Yeah, six times. I see. Okay. I see. Actually, no, nine times. Two months. The reimburse. That's that front page, right? And one signature on each side. side. Okay. I signed right next to Eric. Um, Well, there's municipal officials. Yeah, there's like three lines. Municipal lines. others. Okay. And I don't know who the yeah. others are. I'm the other. I'm an other. You can be I'm, the I've other. I've been an other all my life. Hey, that was, you worked great. Yeah. Go front and back. Front and back. Mike's got to sign these. And Eric is leaving the top space for you on these. I'll assume that there's like a date missing or something or I'll fill that in for me. Not Thank you, Ron. So far, I've never found the road down to Buckland cl actually closed. You know, it sometimes is, you know, one lane. Right, or the detour. Or... I heard it wasn't going to close it until August or September when we have to do the drainage across the road. Uh -huh. Probably close it then. For but sometimes the there's a significant wait. As, 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 they're, as they're busy working on it. Oh, I haven't had to wait yet. So just... Hard Wells tried to avoid it. Like when... Hard so why, while you're still here, Ron, the next item is the discussion and the vote on the appointment of Randall Williams to the building and grounds maintenance technician post. Do you have any more questions or anything? So, so we, we talked about that last week, yep. but we have yeah, to we vote on it in open meeting. It's great. <laughs> That's not the full time. I thought it was building the maintenance technician slash laborer. But I thought that it was going to be part part time was going to be just no. It's a full time position. full time for that. Okay. But we ended up cutting it down because it's working. Right. The we don't want to lose them. Mm -hmm. Kenny's supposed to be looking for somebody to replace it, but still that. The way things are, it's a little fine in a part time. Mm. So for now, um, if if approved, we would start next Monday and work twenty hours for at least twenty hours for highway. And starting July first, it would be twenty eight hours for highway and twelve for police. Is that right? Good. All right. Motion. Does that count? 
<laughs> you want to make the motion? To, yeah. To, to, um, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I mean, I don't, I, I could, I just, I wasn't here last okay. week. So, oh, I see. I wasn't so, in the executive session either, so I just feel like I probably should be the one to make the motion. Move to a point, move to a point, Randa Williams, as Conway's new building and ground maintenance technician for the highway department. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 It is unanimous. Welcome, Randall, to your new career, <laughs> building and grounds maintenance. <laughs> It helped to me. I don't know. Uh, to all of us. To all of us. And so that, so now you're almost at your full, almost. So just somebody will have like 20 appointments. Have like a three quarter. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Good news. Hey. Yeah, we'll get to it. We get to work out the uh, shade tree definition stuff for the next week too. It's... So, it, but your assistant has never been the same person as the planning board or the conservation commission. Could they all be rolled into one? Would that make it a more attractive? I was wondering job? about that, but I don't know. I, um, Ron and I can talk about that. Could, yeah. I mean, part of the issue is that the person has to be willing to work in the evenings for conservation and planning, and that's a difficult. Yeah. We're not the only town that's having difficulty getting somebody to do that work. Um, the other thing, and maybe you can put more with the hours. Yeah. Yeah, you, UMass is pushing new software. Do you see that? Pushing new software to the towns to, to record this. And you can record it, it's translating it to minutes. You need somebody to post on the website. There are certain things there. For <laughs> All right, we've had really great people doing those jobs, though. It's, it's, yeah. it's ter terrible losing them. All right, that's it, Ron. I think. Okay, thank you. Next up is Andrew Randazzo and Josh Rapp, Miss Audubon, to tell us why we should join with the town of Mo for some reason. <laughs> It's not like it's easy. <laughs> uh, because you know they're known for their good government and how well things are run up there. Hey everyone. Oh my gosh. Um, Conway's the gold standard. We gotta keep up our appearances. That's right. Yeah, so um we are working with Roe to uh right propose a regional MVP grant that we yeah. hope Conway would be a part of. After all of uh, and this would um, help implement the forest stewardship climate plan that uh, Conway is currently getting in, well, getting an update to your current forest stewardship plan to become a climate plan. And then this would help to implement uh, part of that, the recommendations in that plan. Um, and then, so the, the MVP proposal has a, a piece that's implementing forest stewardship climate plan. So some of your priorities for your, uh, the Fournier, Fournier lot and the town farm lot. And then um, we're also be interested in developing one of those into a demonstration site. So probably some sort of signage. Uh, or um, at the very least, including it in a um, on a website as an example of how to do climate smart forestry and implement the practices that are in in this in the forest stewardship plan. Um, and then there would also be probably um, at least one or two woods walk events for the town and the town townspeople. Uh, included so, in that. When you say signage, do you, does that include like trail maps? Is that what you mean? Or so, um, so yeah, it could. Because we we have um, here a uh, force, a new forest and trails committee uh -huh. that just got that just got a grant to do trail maps for the 40 year lot behind the grammar school. 
Okay, great. And that's mostly because the kids, the, the school kids are using that every day in the nice weather. Yep. But where we have a great need is trail maps for the uh, the, the town farm, the town, town farm, uh -huh. town forest at on Cricket Hill. And uh, seriously, there is one citizen, one resident a year that gets lost up there and needs fire department rescue. And it's a real problem because the cell phone signals are so bad that when they go to triangulate them with the state police help, uh, the, they come up with these numbers that are plus or minus two miles. Uh -huh. <laughs> and um, so the last fire department rescue took something like 40 people, five different all trained vehicles, three horses. I mean, it's, it's an all hands on deck thing to catch people who always go up, um, you know, I don't know, maybe after one or two glasses, too many of wine, maybe with only 1% left on their cell phone. And, um, you know, that's, but that's who gets lost in the forest. And, uh, so we have a, a real need for trail maps and signage in that forest. Uh -huh. Yeah, well, the the we could certainly focus on that, on that parcel, um, and yeah, part of the demonstration for us would be the focus would be focusing would be to kind of call out the the practices that are done or the um, and for at least in your your current um, forest stewardship plan that includes things like species control, red oak. Planting, seedling plantings, and uh, I think there's also there's like a forest reserve piece and a, a young uh, thinning yep. project there. So I don't know that we I don't know that we'd be able to do all of those. Um, you know, we're, it'll depend on how many other towns are 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 participating right now. We're trying to get um, you know, these letters of support from the other towns. There are six towns that are getting these forest stewardship climate plan plans um so potentially sick town and it just depends how much money we have per town but um we would be the idea would be to focus on on showing those but obviously to to have people find where those are you would need a map so i think uh including a uh, a trail map would definitely be be in line with with the grant so are we doing a program jointly with Roe or are we supporting Roe's program? Um, you'd essentially be supporting Roe's application. Um, the, the, for, so for this grant, we already have, well, we think we have the match from a, a federal grant from the US Forest Service. Um, and that would be matching this large, this proposal. So we're not asking for any, any match from Conway for this. Um, but the, you the let off with that that's your trump card right there <laughs> yeah, i know that's with that. i should have yeah um <laughs> so basically our goal mass audubon's goal is to get good forest stewardship work done in in municipal forests across the the region and then showcase those um and so we think uh, conway's conway's already kind of further along than some of the the towns that we're working with, so I think it's a good fit um, for for Conway's because you've already done a lot of thinking about how you want to manage your forest. Um, and yeah, so we're I, I think essentially this the proposal goes through row. Um, it would be uh, work the would the project would be um, the administration procurement would all probably be done by FERCOG. And then uh, the project would be Mass Audubon's the lead, but we're also working with Massachusetts Woodland Institute and New England Forestry Foundation on kind of doing the, the various tasks. So we don't think that this would be um, much of a lift for, for Conway. Uh, obviously, we would want to do um, the things that you want and that are consistent with your both your forest stewardship plan and your MVP plan. Um, but it shouldn't be um, too much of a, a lift up beyond that, beyond providing that input for Conway. So uh, 
I mean, uh, who who in row are you dealing with? Can I just add, like, who who in town row town government is your constant? Sure, we were working mostly with the, their um, Forest and Parks Committee. Lori Pike is the the chair of that, so we're working with her, and then also with their town administrator. And we're meeting with their um, select board on Thursday. <laughs> and um, is there anybody besides Roe and Conway so far, or, is, or are we going to be it? Or? Um, Heath is 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 very interested. Oh my God! Okay. Um, the other towns are um, well, the Shelburne Falls Fire District. Um, so that's quasi municipal, <laughs> um, and then. Um, Possibly North Adams and Williamstown, but we're not sure about them. All right. Well, the good news is towns like Roe and Heath, they really need your help. So good, good. <laughs> um, and uh, I guess, but when it use our good name to sort of gussy the whole project up a bit, I get it. I get it. So we're looking at a letter that. You wrote Phil, or that already drafted. has already drafted letter with your signature potentially at the bottom. Which which letter is that? After all the mouse DOT stuff. Right after Ron's stuff, yeah. yeah. Uh, looks like that, yeah. Yeah, I moved that Phil signs and yeah, that was then a we ago. submit this letter. So that's what we're doing. We're resubmitting the letter. No, this is from. No, I don't think this, this was back in April. No, that was for the other no, one. The, no, this, yeah, is this is dated today, April oh, yes. 25th. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I right. we're thinking about the one where we submitted. Yeah, so I moved that we submit this letter in support yeah. of Rose MVP project. Yes. Yeah. yeah, whoever wrote this letter, it's a very nice letter. Uh, I, I didn't know that you wrote it. That's what I didn't say. I must anyway. have. I must have. No, I Your name is on it. I'll, I'll, I'll second it. Okay. <laughs> My name's on it, and it appears to be a very yeah. Good work product, like I would produce. <laughs> um, so all in favor? Aye. 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 Great. <laughs> Yay. Yay. And, then, and um, I mean, the only Forest and Trails Committee we didn't. Now, now we need to let them know that. Yes. This yeah. Is happening. I was saying that. Yeah. I'll, as a matter of fact, um, Josh and, and Andrew, I should probably put you guys in touch if you haven't already been with. Um, Deb Donaldson. Okay, that would be great. Yeah, I don't think we've communicated with her. And, and no, we haven't. That'd be great. Okay, great. I will send you their um, email addresses. But, you know, and just for, for our, you know, every once in a while, we stand up a new committee and a new group in town. And this is this year's new committee, new town government committee. And in just a couple of months, they've already written and, uh, and um, received two grants. And um, I think we were so impressed with it that we actually created a new budget line item for them in this year's budget, which is like unheard of. Um, so I guess what I'm getting to is that they, they're, I think that they're worth working with. Great. Yeah. Great. We'll look forward to getting in touch with them then. And this is all part of the, um, the Mohawk Trail Woodlands Partnership program so right. I mean, to me it's a great example of why it was correct for conway to join that program uh there's a lot of controversy over that program yep yeah and this is the this is i guess the third mvp um grant that we're going for as a region and then there's there's um there's a number of other potential funding sources out out there to to do more of this stuff that we'll we're going after too and then, how are you going to apportion the funds when you get them, if you get them? So right now, we've we've reached out to, in addition to reaching out to the towns, we're reaching out to the foresters who are um, working on these projects and getting estimates of what they think the different practices, you know, the the work um, that they're recommending would cost. Uh, and so we will, once we know how many towns there are, <laughs> we'll try to do it, you know, fairly, you know. Well, equitably, but trying to, um, but there'll be different costs for different projects. So it'll, we'll have to sort that out in terms of how to, how to ultimately do that. But we're trying to, 
essentially give a similar amount of money to each town, but it, that may be a little bit variable just based on the, what projects come to come to the, the fore. Not like a straight formula of amount of acres equals amount of money kind of a thing. No, no, it's more based on on the projects. We come into all these things with probably the fewest amount of acres of any participant. Usually, we end up with the fewest amount of money. <laughs> So, so, so all the other towns you mentioned, they would own like town forests, but the fire district, they don't actually own any land. Yeah, they, do. they do. They do. It's, yeah, the water department has, a, well, it's not used anymore as a drinking source, but they have a reservoir that used to be, and it's, it has, it's in a watershed that they own. Great. I just think of them having the fire tower up there. Look, looking down on Chopper Falls. Yeah, it's yeah, it's 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 kind of down that that ridge, um, always. Great. All right. Well, okay. thanks for thinking of Conway. Sure. It's good to work with you. <laughs> it is. We are good to work with. You know that. Yes. You know that. Don't forget. Right. We're, we're, we're well known for being good to work with. We're nice here. That's good. So, all righty. Anything else? We're we're all set. Thanks. All right. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you all so much. Have all a right. good evening. You too. You too. Thanks. We'll see you. Discuss and vote to sign capital strategic solutions contract for our but consult me. I discussed this. We did. But I keep on sending her back with other questions. Yeah, I just uh, did. I just have the correct language, but I reviewed the um, contract with town council and she added in both um, an exhibit A and also the language which basically says that the amount is capped at 3200 for town Okay. So, yeah, so she's, she's basically buttoned it up for us. I wanted that to be 1500 I think I wanted that to be like 750 And I compromised to 1500 And then you guys voted for 3200 Well, she's already worth works. her weight in gold because she's already, I gave her the information I had on what has already been voted, and she's already got the report ready for me. All I have to do is go in and hit send, uh -huh. which I didn't want to do until we had a signed contract. <laughs> um, but I, I think it's going to be a very good investment for us. And it does say that you, know, you don't have to go up to 32. I vote that we sign the contract. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I didn't kick into screaming to I for me. I will. We can vote Aye. 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 <laughs> Witness. Pointless protest. This is the background. Those are the articles from last year. Yep. We only expended 1250 So the rest that I understand from the CPC that special has to vote to close out. So last year at town meeting, there was there were two articles under the CPC that were voted one for fifty thousand to do the purchase of the land and another for fifteen to do the environmental. Yeah. Uh -huh. And since those really have not been used, the select board has to say the project's complete. It's supposed to say it's complete and then the CPC can tip the one thousand one hundred and fifty that we've spent on the appraisal I vote to close out CPA fund articles twenty three A and B as completed. Minus. Minus the 1,150 expended from the 2021 annual town meeting. Second. All in favor? <laughs> These notes, this is like the agenda is so good. Yeah. <laughs> Aye. Aye. Yay. Thank you. It's unanimous. It was unanimous. But do we also have to vote for anything, or is it just a discussion for the? ARPA. 
consulting services. I mean, we, we talked about it. We discussed it. Briefly. So it yeah, it was just to vote to sign the town council as a member of the contract. Um, and technically, you don't need the finance committee to close the warrant. Correct? So they've already done all their votes. Except for one. Well. But that's just saying that nobody can add anything. Right. So. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Let's wait for it. Okay. okay. Um, your update? Sure. Sure. Um, so last week I had meetings with, um, I had a meeting with the Community and Economic Development Committee, and they are currently reaching out to local businesses just to see who might be interested in some kind of Comway, sort of Chamber of Commerce, but organization that helps businesses in town, and if they are, what kind of things would they be interested in? And they're also interested in creating a calendar of community events, things that go on around town, either hosted in Conway or things that people from Conway do with other towns. Um, you know, just let people know what's going on. So that's the latest with them. Obviously, I met with the Finance Committee um, as they met to discuss and vote on each of the monetary articles. The Public, public Buildings Committee um, we met with uh, civil engineer Mark Beaudry of Civil Works of New England, or Civil Works of New England, sorry. The idea was to have a civil engineer review the design plans we have and discuss the challenges to that site. Um, now that the well is in, that's sort of a done deal. It's wonderful that we have that and it's completed. Everybody's very happy with that. Um, so after we reviewed everything, uh, he's going to be sending us a proposal to review. So it was really just a, you know, a free informational kind of uh, review. And ARPA, uh, sorry, April 30th is the deadline for ARPA. So thank you for saying that. I will go and hit them wow. and get our first report in. Um, I did receive a call from a resident today with two concerns. One was about speeding on Bardwell's Ferry Road from Reedsbridge, sort of straight up the hill there. Um, and the other was about excessive littering on Station Road. Um, I did drive up there today. I, you know, I, as far as the speeding, I don't know. And I did mention to the caller that, you know, it might be one of the places where if the town votes for those two speeding signs up there. I drove by, I didn't happen to see an excessive amount of littering. Um, maybe I didn't. But. Um, and the last thing is, I just wanted to announce that um, I think you all know already, but that the bench Virginia Knowlton is finally in and in front of this town hall. And she, I think, is very pleased to have that in her. That's really wonderful. Maybe. Where we It'd be great all it does is make you see that sign that you put out and what the hell what do you guys forget that there exists such a thing as a plumb line <laughs> <You're supposed> to... <laughs> that... <laughs> Dude, that thing is so crooked you it went to all that work to you know, put it in there and it's all crooked well if if people think it's crooked it's my fault we told them to put it in line with the building uh, so that's so it's in line with the building instead of the sidewalk is that it yeah well, every time I drive past that, it makes me think of <laughs> town can't even do that right. What the hell can they do right? You're just like those things, yeah. <sighs> Another satisfying question. <laughs> well, as long as Ginny is pleased with it, I figure that's There you counts. go. That Ashfield Stone? Correct. Yeah, Ashfield Stone and then Nagus and Taylor did the uh, lettering. Great. I think they did a great job. Yeah. yeah. All right, are we ready for the? Thanks, sir. Sorry, I'm late. So I call the finance committee being in order. We have a uh, quorum here, two virtually, and uh, one here. Tom Donovan threatened to come, but I got my own. <laughs> <laughs> but he would not come virtual. 
you would. For him, no. Yeah. <laughs> no, nah, he doesn't do computers. So we got a warrant to vote on and close. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> hmm. and, I mean, the good thing about really participating in creating the budget is that most of the stuff, all the stuff that I really do, <coughs> it just isn't. So, um, <laughs> uh, I mean, I can't believe that I'm actually going to be voting for everything in this, but I think that's a first for me. Uh huh. Uh, So what, what's the finance committee's issue with the fire truck stabilization fund of yeah. uh, Article 8 of 100,000? Thank you. you so were, it's, you were all yeah. in favor of creating it. Yes. So the thought is that we don't have any, we don't even, we don't have any information on it. We'd like Chief Baker to make a presentation. Yeah. I think for a, dollar, a ticket that, that size, we're talking potentially three quarters of a million dollars by the time 2028 goes around yeah, to right. buy this thing. I think it warrants. And there's some other issues going on, namely his retirement in the interim, new fire chief that we'll have. A, B, the old highway garage. Let's hope, you know, the structural engineer finds nothing wrong with it. You know, so this, the whole picture really, I mean, we're not questioning in terms of in the future, do we have to replace fire equipment? Obviously we do, but for this amount, I think there needs to be a special presentation. That's just, nah, that was a thought. So we'll create this, we'll, we'll create the motion to create the fund. I mean, that makes sense. Favor that and then there should be a special feedback, especially in light of that good item. We just spent a lot of money. But by the town meeting, can we can't amend this upward to add the hundred thousand, right? Uh, it just requires just go down. Yeah, just go down. We could, you know. I mean, it requires it re would require a two-thirds vote, right? Yeah. Um, the reason that I'm in favor of the hundred thousand now is because he did when he came in. He did give a presentation on it when he did his. Oh, I must have missed it because he just said, you know, is it, but I mean, there's and nothing it, more. No, it was, and it's the, we want to get it from the same company in Iowa. Uh -huh. All right. The current one, and they have to go out to Iowa. Well, you have to drive it back. To drive, but they go out before that because every single truck is customized for every department. Yep, understood. And, um, but the, it's, it's the same one that is made last two of their trucks the same company yeah yeah, yeah. and uh, if they bought it today i think he said it was 680 but it's going to be right by, by, by 2028 I'll, we can rest assured the price won't go down yeah right yeah. <laughs> and you know i thought since we're the, the idea of the stabilization fund works best when the funding is put into it earliest so that it can be yeah. interest and, yeah <coughs> Which we can do, even if you have a special town meeting, since we're probably going to have to have one anyway. So that was our thought. I just think the town needs to know more about it. I mean, if Baker wants to make a special pre-town meeting, I can talk to my fellow committee members. Maybe a town meeting, we can go ahead and just approve the vote. I mean, we can do that, too, at the town meeting. We have, we have that ability. That's all. Yeah, I think, um, I just, I think that when you, when you heard the whole thing, you'd feel better about it. Cause yeah, okay. They put thought into it already. I would imagine. <laughs> well, it was recorded, right? You can go back and watch it. On okay. He'll, he'll have to. He'll have to stand up and give the whole right. thing again. Yeah, the I think so. Hundred thousand dollars. I think for that ticket price, of three quarters of a million dollars potentially by twenty twenty. Yeah. People are gonna have questions. <laughs> and, it, and it's forward thinking to get it started now. I mean, I, I agree with that. Yeah, comment. absolutely. Can, I, can anyone hear me? Hi, Roy. Hi, Roy. Yes. Hey. Yes. Hi, everybody. So. Uh, is um, is that stabilization fund specific to for a specific piece of equipment, or is it just for general for the fire department? It's for that piece of equipment. That's how we set it up. Well, is that is that a wise thing to do? Is it? Well, let me rephrase it. <clears throat> is this the most expensive piece of equipment we will ever buy in general? <laughs> Um, for the fire department or just in general? Just in general, right. Roy, or you mean just for the fire department? Well, we, we, no, no, we fire. have a stabilization fund for the old, for the, you know, for the old truck. Yeah, we fire truck. We paid off the old truck last year. Well, it just, it just strikes me as odd. We don't, do we have a stabilization fund for a new grader? No. 
but we have yeah. a capital stabilization. So that's, I mean, is that your point? Well, my point is that uh, to make it, uh, it's more palatable, I think, in general, to have it be, well, again, it depends on your point of view, but, you know, to have it just be, hey, well, here's the fire department. We have hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of stuff in the fire department. So it's not a bad idea to apportion uh, some monies every every year into the, into the fund there. And in theory, we should have that capital improvements replacement schedule that you would then use to follow, you know, to, to, All right. but. So you want to make this the fire department stabilization fund? Well, I'm saying that I, right. yes, We have I'm an saying. ambulance fund. No, I'm, uh, we have one. Yeah, well, but the ambulance, ambulance stabilization fund too. Yeah, yeah, but there's one and only one ambulance, right? I mean, it's not like there's three or four pieces of equipment in the ambulance department. Yeah. We don't need one for police because there's only one cruiser, right? Yeah. <laughs> right. Well, maybe, maybe we, he needs an electric bicycle, an e-bike. <laughs> no. so, That's a good point. Well, actually, I didn't think, I didn't, I didn't think until now. Thank you very much. So maybe, maybe- The fire truck stabilization maybe, fund could, in theory, be any of their vehicles. Yeah, it might be a good idea to think about it. Look at the whole picture. Not just well, you know, what you're doing is you're instead of having it be a one-off thing, it's part of it's part of the process. Maybe we yeah. put seventy-five thousand a year into it, yeah. or one hundred and twenty-five. Right. I don't know what the yeah. number is. I mean, we had a, we had to spend about thirty thousand over the last two years with the Lucas compression kits, and another ten thousand at least for the oxygen kits, right? Yeah, but that that well, yeah. They wanted, they wanted an off-road vehicle for years oh um, that makes sense too. they want to be able to get the stretchers up on the river to the parking lot yeah all right um, but they, they never put in for it so maybe it's time to talk, look at the whole picture and have make, make chief baker make a whole presentation to the town what what the what we have what we think we, we need i mean we're in a period of transition over the next year remember where the money came from for the uh the lucas that came out of, I think that came out of the uh, free cash. Yeah, we, well, we it was- spent about $30,000 over three years. Well, they were, they were articles that were voted on. That's-, that's yeah. yeah. Yep. But, but we talked I, about them in the, in the capital equipment budget. Uh -huh. uh, mm -hmm. Well, you know, it's not, so the more fine grained we, up to a point, you know, we can get, I think the better. And, and at the same time, it probably pays to review, you know, what, how these stabilization funds work to the town meeting, you know, I mean, the regulars sort of understand it, but the non, you know, there, there'll be some non-regulars that, yeah, they, you know, it's a good excuse to explain it. <laughs> yeah. Well, it might be a good idea also because Chief Baker is going to be replaced over the next two years. And it's probably good to have us all in place for the uh, successor. Yeah. Okay. Now, I know they, they just so, use a calendar for the when they want the trucks for, for the fire, the, the main trucks for place. Yeah. Just, so what are we following here? Are we following the, uh, um, are we, I, I mean, I just have article, I have the uh, warrant open. So where are we just jumping around here? Cause. Well, I just wanted to ask what I knew that you had already voiced as a committee. That was the only thing we voted down. So okay. that was the <laughs> Now, what about five thousand for the uh, Medicaid, Medicaid, which I guess we don't need. Uh, no, no, we do. We do. Oh, all right. Five thousand. Yes. All right. We didn't vote on that because we didn't know what it was, which, what it was for. <laughs> now, what happened? What happened to the over-the-fence mower? That was withdrawn. Why? Discretion is the better part of valor. Sometimes. <laughs> oh come on. <laughs> Is it too much to ask why? Was, uh, there, was there undue pressure put on somebody? I, I put no pressure on him. Yeah. I, I, I did not have a, a conversation with him after he submitted the, the thing. So I don't. Well, uh, but I, I said that you guys said you wouldn't vote for it. Well, that we did. That's true. Yes. But that was, you know, because Tom, we can always override it. We just felt. We just felt that for the few weeks of the year, he's going to use it. I'm going to go out there and, and have someone do it themselves, professionally. Probably only use it I know there was a, a town resident that had met with Ron and 
uh, had corresponded with me uh, um, and was very insistent that that would be something that we should be leasing and renting um, and that we should really boost up, we should be thinking long-term of boosting up the rental or lease, not lease, but the, the rental option, yeah, rental. the rental line item. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, not just for the lift, but for more and more equipment that that's... Yeah. Is Ron in the audience <laughs> tonight? No, he's not. Uh, he was here. You, you're asking now. He's learning. He's, <laughs> last week, he's lurking in the back. Last week, you didn't know for a while that he was here. And that, so, this oh, will be the last night that happens because the owl is on order. So I'm hoping uh, this will be <laughs> panoramic next week. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, I, I. Yeah, okay. I mean, it's. it's uh, and so it was withdrawn and nothing else substituted. Correct. Okay. Well. So we had three. He had two pieces withdrawn. He had that and the scraper. And so maybe a town meeting wants to talk to. I'm sure people in town want to talk to him about equipment. Well, he, well here's the thing. Okay. I'm I'm sorry. I'm on the finance committee. I've been on the capital improvements committee. We've heard the argument. I myself am as confused about the philosophy towards new equipment and rolling stock, I'm saying newly procured equipment and rolling stock as I've ever been. And as confused as I am about masks and Dr. Fauci, let's put it that way. <laughs> okay, so, so, so um, uh, when I, I, I feel like we're owed an explanation as to the, the current snapshotted philosophy towards these things because if I, I'm going to express to you what I interpret things being right now, and that is that the newer, the better with everything. There's no exceptions here. Okay. And it comes from two places. One is the new stuff has the warranties and it's not going to break so quickly. And, and it has a residual value that can be used to get more new stuff five years down the road or three or four or five years down the road. And that's it. I don't see any uh, hybrid arguments or anything like that. So you correct me if I'm misunderstanding something here. Well, well, I think for this particular piece of equipment, we did get a letter recommending that we should consider rental instead of purchase. And I think that the finance committee supported that idea for this particular piece of equipment. And so Ron decided mm -hmm. to withdraw it and think about it. Okay. I, I don't know that though. He may have just decided that he can make it another year with what he's got and he doesn't yeah. need it. I, I mean, I don't know that. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't know either. But Okay. But I, but, I, but but I but Ron's experience is if he doesn't get a lot of support from the select board and the finance committee when he goes to town meeting, the town doesn't vote to buy the equipment. And well, even then, they usually don't buy, vote to buy the equipment. <laughs> right. right. Well, look, at some, you know. Because that being withdrawn, the town meeting will be shorter by at least an hour. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so it's Absolutely. Worth... Especially, especially this year with the whole new crop of uh, tree cutting oh. opponents. Oh, yes. <laughs> What? Uh, so. <laughs> from rotors. That's right. Yeah, but none of that is. But on uh, yeah, yeah. No. But are we gonna are we gonna have a pre-town meeting because it's not on. Yeah, there. there'll be a pre-town. Correct. They can bring that. And up. I think that you know Chief Baker and Ron, I think, should both make make their uh, get the Ron, big picture. What's going on? They, he he only, on the now, so, yeah. You only talk yeah. about the things at town meeting that people vote. To remember, everybody's got to make a check yeah. next to the articles that they want to talk about, and then it's right. only ever like the top four or five that oh. they have time to talk about. Yeah. So, well, maybe this time I'll attend and tell people why they should listen to Chief Baker because you know we're talking about a lot of money for equipment, and with the highway superintendent over the next next several years, we're talking about purchases, you know, with at least a half million dollars. Well, traditionally, all of the people running for town office stand up and speak at the pre-town meeting. Yeah. So Bob will at least be standing oh, yeah. up for that. Well, one of the questions they'll ask is they have, are they qualified to uh, use an over-the-fence mower? <laughs> I think that's one of the prerequisites for running for town office. <laughs> yeah, I have a bike. <laughs> well, look, I understand. I mean, 
they did rent the uh, the big chair crane, right? I mean, that's, the lift, that's right. The lift. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I mean, that 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 letter that we got. I mean, I think there were some valid points. Every time we consider purchasing a piece of equipment, we should. There's just you know standard questions. How often? How many times out of the year do you use this? Like, what would be mm -hmm. the rent? cost versus the you know purchase cost like is it possible to rent this house i mean some of the stuff we don't even know if it's possible to rent yeah. or lease yeah. um but i think those are all valid points you know like we can redo the form because the form the capital request form that ron filled out did have a lot of that information in there about how old the equipment was you know blah, blah, blah. but um if there's other information that finance and selectors would like added to the capital request, thank you I mean, the bigger picture, these are big ticket items. Yeah. And in the same breath, Ron talked to the importance of um, having the ability to pay people more so we can retain them. And if you start, if you start training people to use this equipment, I mean, realistically, the private sector is probably going to snatch them away. I mean, and, you know, when, when you talk to him, he does not agree that the rental of the lift has been good for the town. He thinks that it would have been, been much better had we purchased the lift when he wanted us to. Oh. He still is of that opinion. I'm sure he has good reasons. Yeah. And so I, you glad know, to I... at least have that. <laughs> well, glad, glad it hasn't broken either. <laughs> it doesn't, it's up to West County. <laughs> I remember before they had the lift, they used to strap the guy onto the bucket in front of the front end loader, and that was fine. That was not fine. Well, yeah, I guess it was. <laughs> That's before OSHA. For the chainsaw. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 The sense more. I just want the teenage son, like the lead wagon, you know. <laughs> Put on some poison ivy block. Yeah. Other than that, we voted for everything, you know. And I think the budget, the Article Two in particular, that given the wave of inflation, that we're only talking about a two hundred thirty-one thousand dollars increase. Yeah. That is F Tech. Yeah. So I mean, uh, there's really, I mean, the, and the other amount, you know, is basically salaries that are pretty much negotiated. Not, there's, there's not a lot of leeway. There's not a lot of uh, quote unquote fat off the bone that can be eliminated. This is a pretty lean, lean budget. The total in this budget of things that I didn't want in there, I think is $1,500. <laughs> Which isn't, that doesn't even trigger a no vote yeah. on anything. That feels very satisfied with this one. I mean, the main concern is new growth. I mean, new growth at 125,000 conservatively projected, even that's still kind of a bummer. But it's better than nothing. It's better than it's been, right? <laughs> Point out on Article Two. I think I sent an email to everybody, but I have gotten um, a quote for the transportation for the Smith Boat School. It's gone up twenty dollars a day, so one hundred fifty a day. Now I did some research with other town administrators, and everybody's in the same boat. Yeah, for one thing. Yeah, it's law. But the other is that um, I did get some sample agreements, and if the families that are sending their children to the school agree the town can reimburse them for the mileage for getting their children to the school. Oh. So I will be researching that. But I did put the placeholder in there. So now, Alan, you'll see it's up to 3.54 because I had to bump up the children. Yeah, yeah, of course. But I will look into that. Thanks. Yeah. And that, what, did, what was the final figure, the final transfer station basis? It was 42. Yeah. Oh, 40. Okay, 43,260 is the total. Sorry, on top of, about 3% on top of the 42,000. So whatever they were making last year, and then plus, plus the total, we didn't put any raise for that. So I, I did not, we did not vote a raise. We have room for a raise, but I did not. Speech. That was the correct answer as far as I'm <laughs> so, so if you guys are done. Yeah, I think we're done. Um, I, I, do you I, want to stick around while we go through the Warren articles and vote on our position on them, which is, I think, what we're going to do next? Yeah. Okay. Or, or not. I mean, it's, I don't... It's, uh, how much you want me here? I mean, I can. Do you want to go Sounds into like, executive section or something? No, no, we don't. No, no. Sounds like a, if you want to re like reduce my salary for it against the fire truck. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
All right. Article two. Motion to approve. I'll stick around for a few minutes. Okay. So we, we're going to go through the warrant. And, uh -huh. Yeah. By the way, it does say on the bottom there that you've already approved it. That was just a placeholder because yes, I yes. was copying and pasting. Yes, <laughs> mm -hmm. so do we give a select board recommendation for Article 2? Uh, I, I, well, it's already generously supplied. Submitted by the select board. So, yeah. Unanimous. Okay. It, but you haven't voted it yet. So, no, what I say. Yeah. No, I think. Um. <laughs> well, I vote aye. I vote aye. I vote aye. Right. So now, now we can say it's unanimously approved. <laughs> And Article Three is the one that you that you said we don't need to do. No, that one. Uh, well, I haven't had a chance to talk to Donna about that. That was one that she, she in, included. She uh, we don't need to. No, 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 no. I'm not sure which one. Oh no, with the for compensating balances, and she said, "Well, I don't have any of those with the, with the institution that the bank she deals with." Okay. So I removed that one. But that was not Article Three. So this one, Article Three. What? How do we explain this in plain language to people? Like, what is this? I, you know, that's why I need someone to talk with. My understanding. So it's like I don't understand it either. Yeah. It doesn't cost you anything. Our lawyer no said we should put it in but, there. But I think what basically you're just saying is it's giving you the legal authority to set the salaries of elected village officials. Okay. That's my take on it. But All right. I'm not. So I would vote I for that. Yeah, uh, yeah I mean, you know, that's words, exactly what it was. Uh, it's, it's to give yourself, it's, to, it's for the town meeting to give itself the authority to set the salaries of elected officials. Okay. <clears throat> so I vote yes. I vote yes too. So that was three yeah. votes? Three out. Actually, Veronica, I really have the finance committee of the uh, Medicaid revolving loan fund. Um, here's the language that Jan gave. I want them to go away. Um, Thanks. That's Article. Uh, okay. What do we think about Article? It's Article Twenty Four. Twenty Four. Thanks. Article three needs to be moved. Okay. Article three should be Article Five. And four and five should be moved up to three and four and should be right after. You want the school stuff all at once. But that's talking about the budget. That's I know. why I put it in. I know. Okay, so I'll right. just save Cindy Wimet the trouble of making a motion on the floor to do all the school stuff at once. Okay, so I'll change that to Article 5. So the Article 3 is the capital expense. Sure. So 82,000 for air conditioning, flooring, and dishwasher. I vote I. I vote I. I vote I. I mean, that I'm a little bit, I mean, I mean that's, I know Bruce is going to be there for the dishwasher. Because <laughs> uh, that's a big, that's a big deal in that. And how much do we have in the in the capital stabilization fund now? Two sixty. Okay. Yep. You're gonna make cookies to sell at the uh, town meeting? No. <laughs> that was nice. Dude, they have done that in the past. Yes. I, I, they have a new reconstituted parent teacher organization that's got like forty people in it, or like oh, cool, like that. Okay. So they're doing all the child care stuff. They're doing all that's this wonderful. Stuff. So great. I, I know they're having tables with information. Yeah, so, where in the schools the flooring being redone? Uh, All the places where they didn't do it previously. Yeah, so then I on it. 
Wasn't it, wasn't it the lower level, the kindergarten, first grade, those, those rooms? I think it was. I think they were moving towards the back building, yeah. right? <laughs> I think it's the lower grade. I know they did the library and yeah. um, cafeteria the other time. And it, it, is, it has been a program where every year we've been funding it. Yeah. The last four rooms or something. Well, it has to get done. The same thing with the air conditioning. We've been funding that every year. Right. Yeah. I don't think we ever funded four rooms at once at the air conditioning. That's why that's the biggest item. Is, is, it, is it possible for Article 24? Because we didn't vote on it. I ha Roy and Rihanna, how much longer you, can you stay? Well, do you want to move there now for the financial? Yeah, it might be a good idea. And the uh, next, next, should I read the explanation again, or do you want to do it, Brian? Why did I have them on the four zeros? Oh, you did? You, yeah. you, they, you do, yeah. Yes, we do then. All right. I thought we had voted. Then we want an explanation because well, we don't we don't have the explanation. So okay. uh, the explanation, Roy and Rian, is that for the special education program, the five thousand dollar Medicaid revolving fund is to uh, return to the general fund each year, and add it to free cash, the amount that's certified. And uh, so it's for the special education program at Conway Grammar School. Should I read you the complete uh, quote from uh, our treasurer, town treasurer? Yeah, I, I, read, I read it. It's not necessary okay. for me. All but right. so it's really for fees uh, for third party billing that's uh, it. service. Yeah, that's it. So to get reimbursed, you got a bill, and to bill, you got to bill it a certain way, and that's the what money the fees up front are. to get reimbursed. Yeah. Right. yeah. So there was an article that I had removed um, on compensating balances that town council had recommended. Okay. And you, I don't, you hadn't voted on that one. I think that's the one that you you were saying that you also okay. needed an explanation for. But when I spoke with Jan, she said, well, I don't have any of those anyway. So at least for this year, we don't need it on the We don't have to have it. Okay. Great. So for next year, it's fine. Right. right. Possibly. Yep. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Thanks. Sorry to interrupt. You know, I, my other question was that if we weren't taking anything out of the capital, of the overall capital stabilization fund, uh, does it still make sense to put the full 150 in? My opinion, uh, at least 125, because ba basically, I mean, over, if you look back over the years, it averages out to like a 125 or something or even more um, expended on, on, on equipment. That, I mean, so you can skip it, but you'll, you'll pay, you know, it's the, Phil, <laughs> I mean, it's. That's not me. That's not an editorial comment. No, I didn't. I didn't hear what you said. <laughs> And, and we also just because Ron has removed his warrant article, we now have one hundred forty thousand dollars more in free cash. Right, but it, but this yeah. is like this is the old story. What do you do with this money? Do you give it back to the taxpayer and and have some relief one year, and then the next year the taxes go up more than anybody would like? We, this is what happened when we had that million plus uh, mm -hmm. number to distribute. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm of the opinion that the, the more stable and steady the uh, taxes are, the less controversial they become, I guess. Yeah. There's wisdom in that, actually. Yeah. There yeah. is. I, I guess I'd, yeah. Oh. There is. That's, it goes so down I, easier. Yeah. 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 I don't know what to say. <laughs> okay. This is, this is a special piece of equipment that we may choose not to buy instead of to say we're going to postpone this and buy it next year. Correct. Correct. So it's you still should be stuffing money into the stabilization yeah. fund. I agree. Right. I think it helps to smooth out the budget from year to year. Yeah. It makes us more likely to actually acquire new equipment too. <laughs> when most of it comes out of saved money instead of new assessment. Well, that's that's true. Very true. 
So we, yeah, we had to yeah. Back to Article 4, the 82,000 for the Conway Grammar School Capitalization Fund. Oh, sorry. Oh, we did I that have one. the history now, yeah. So, <laughs> so four is now the five. Um, putting four, four and five are contained yeah. articles. So I put money back into the stabilization fund. Uh, um, that's an I for me. Me too. I. Yeah, me too. I, was pro I, w I would have been inclined to reduce that, but... I mean, the situation with the Frontier boilers and now Waitley's boilers down and Sunderland boilers down. Oh, I thought it's summer. Everybody built their schools at the same time. Got the same boiler too, right? Probably. <laughs> uh -oh. So for the, Front frontiers are the old Article 4, new Article 3, did we vote that? I think we did for the 82,000. For the 82,000? We did, yes. yes. So okay. we've done on your what, on your sheet. What read is three, four, and five. We've done. Okay. On to page three. Six. Okay. Article six. So 150 for the capital stabilization fund for funds future. I'd say I. Yes, yes, for me. I as well. Seven fire truck stabilization fund, creating it. Yes. Yes, for me. Yep. Eight funding it with a hundred thousand. Yes, for me too. I I would too. Okay, so three oh on part three. Thank you. Part nine capital improvement. I actually think you might have problems with two. I think I think they might go down to this one, but <laughs> That the the uh, Conway Street Street Club might come there. I don't know. <laughs> I, did. Well, okay. I, I, did. I did hear they became controversial in Deerfield because they, they're left on all night long, and the people that live oh. near them really at like three in the morning they say they become really really. Well, unpleasant. I feel like that's probably. Hmm. I feel like there are enough people who have issues with other people speeding at Conway that like. People are going to want these in their neighborhood. Especially around the grammar school. I can yeah, imagine but, we'll put one at the grammar school and then we'll have one that'll float around just like yeah. we're proposing, you know, Bardswell Ferry Road. Or I mean, if I go between 30 and 35 miles per hour along 116 to the Conway Grammar School, someone's usually there behind me right on my bumper. Yep. Okay. <laughs> and then I wasn't sure whether anybody would have any privacy concerns about those things because for just a few hundred dollars, you can add things to that to the you oh, can sure add a digital light an automatic digital license plate oh, cool. you can add facial recognition picture thing. wow cool. he didn't mention that though he didn't mention it did he yeah he said i don't want to i don't want any of that stuff right yeah, yeah. but i mean but, yeah uh, it's... <laughs> but yeah who's who, you know after you who knows you know <laughs> and i thought you know i don't want that stuff no i don't either but I don't part, want to part, get pulled part, over by random. Part, part of seeing that that like makes it acceptable is that you know you can still be speeding. And, you know, yes, but no. if, if every time you speed, that thing automatically issues you a ticket. Um, make a lot of people balance. We'll have a surplus next year. I think, think we might be. Who can buy that over the fence? What did they do in Charlemont? I don't think we should do it here. We did it too. I've, got, I've gotten out of every ticket I've ever gotten in Charlemont and in Conway too, for that matter. I have to say. I wonder why. But I slow down every time I see the frowny face on these little radar detectors. There must have been a local cop in Charlemont, not the state police. Uh, <laughs> yeah. No, actually, yeah. Well, you have to the state trooper, really? State, state ticket. Wow, that's right. That's a lot of talent. <laughs> Those years ago, I have not been pulled over in a very long. Time. So I still think we should go for two, and we should let town yeah. meeting, yeah. you know, change it if they if, right. if yeah. I'm with you there. Insisted on, but so that was yes, yes. three o three o. Uh, Our ambulance twenty uh, article ten is the twenty seven and change for ambulance receipts funds for paying the ambulance operational expenses. And this is Thank one of those you. ones that's it's like we have to spend the money, but then we always get it back, right? Is that what Gemma explains? That it's... We try to get it back. Right. It's, you know, every now and then we don't get it back. Right. It's lots of private insurers. They're very slow. Make it very hard to But I'd certainly support this. Yes. 
You already voted that, right? No. Oh, okay. Article 10, I'm yes. Yes. Good. Article 11, transferring 60,000 from the ambulance receipts fund into the ambulance stabilization. Yes. 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 Article 12 is 5,000 for ambulance training. That's out of free cash. So, so this this is not money for a uh, uh, EMT. It is. So, what this it is. is, it is. Yeah. So, it's the idea that when they're training them, it doesn't always happen in within a fiscal year. So, they need to have some money set aside in yeah that was specifically just for the training. So they can pay it in a different fiscal year and they come to town and pay the bills. So I think, you know, I'm thrilled that, that some people have taken advantage of it and we're going to hopefully get some more EMTs. So Article 12, I'm, I'm yes. 3 3 Article 13, I think there should be a comma between oh, sorry, three and yes. six. Transferring or from recast 3600 for the ambulance department. So these are the same pagers as the police and fire are using too? Great. Yeah. I keep on reading all this stuff about how this is already technologically obsolete. Just a few years away from all new emergency communication. Is trillions mm. um, and they're after it. Yeah, yeah. Um, they're going to get it. Good for that. So, I vote aye for this. I was going to say, what was their vote on that? Yes. <laughs> uh, three out, I think. Yeah, I would say yes. Okay. Article 14, same thing, 18,000 for the soon to be obsolete 800 megahertz emergency pagers. <laughs> I hope you he cannot read it that way. <laughs> but yeah. they that work is, now. That's why, they there's a most, that's why there's a script of motions for me to read. So <laughs> knock down all of those that's desires, those, those right. urges that creep in, that, 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 that just keep them out. And so, so that, that annual report, I definitely had it. You got to take a look at that. Maybe there's some things in there. Okay. So 14, did everybody say yes? Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. 15, OPEP, 20,000. Sure. Yeah. I mean, yes. I'm sorry about that. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to talk about it. That's one thing we're going to get paid off. Being conscientious and good people. It's all these big cities are a bailout. If the bailout comes, we can take our money and lend it out. We'll still have the money. Raise of interest. So. <laughs> See the town transfer 13,000 change from free cash for partial debt service for the highway garage, most definitely. I think we're saying that that's the highway facility now because garage implies one building and it's two buildings. So this is basically just interest on the money that we borrowed? Yes. Yeah. So should we change the name to highway facility? Is that no. the correct name? Highway garage facility? Yeah, there you go. There you go, highway garage. Okay. There you go. I'm yes for that. Great. Now, Mark, 17, 10,000. Yeah, yeah. 10,000 for collecting delinquent taxes. And we don't like the person. Yes, for sure. We need to do that. 
Did Chan present this one to us? Yes. Or is that, I don't remember. This is like an annual thing. Oh, okay. So it, it, it costs money to do anything to collect delinquent taxes. So, I wouldn't believe how much newspaper, the legal newspaper ads cost. Just, but basically, we do this every year. Yeah. Thank goodness, not that much. He's done a great job, especially during the pandemic. You have like a 98% yeah. collection. Rate. Yeah. No, that's phenomenal. It is phenomenal. Against all forecasts, too. Yep. Just a couple of years ago, we were getting this forecast. Get ready to have income oh, yeah. reduced by 20%. Like so most people have a mortgage, and so their bank is yeah. collecting. I think something 75% like of the mortgages that I make mean, property taxes are collected in town through a, a yeah. escrow agency. Yeah. So that was 3 0? 3 0. Article 17. Article 18 $10,000 to cover compensated absences. This uh, is a new thing. So. No, we just don't have enough in there. We have the fund. Okay. Yeah, it's just it's it's the um, buyback for people who retire. But we need to make sure we have enough in there to cover it. Well, this could use a better explanation. <laughs> okay. It will. The motion yeah. will. Yeah. It's going to be in the motion. Okay. Uh -oh. Remember, the, the, the article is not. It's actually the motion that's that's binding on the town. Article. But this is what everybody's going to read. That's true. But they're going to have a cheat sheet that's going to okay. <laughs> have a little a guide that's going to. So I'll vote aye for this. Article 19, 5,000 for mosquito testing, which we may or may not need. When we opted out last year, they said we need to do it this year. So we don't. So what we we may not need to do. It. So this is part of the program because we opted this out. Is, of, this is part of uh, the opt out program yeah. to preserve our independence from possible aerial spread. Uh, great. So we may not spend this money. We may not. Yeah. Correct. Okay. I've seen the the um, application this year, and it requires the board of health, and I believe they may have just done. So this would involve putting up those little mosquito catcher things exactly. around the road and then, down. And then paying the lab fees to test them. Yeah, yeah. Good. And, and, so and if we were part of the mosquito commission, that that's exactly what we would be doing. Yeah, yeah. The same thing, but it's different we're on our own. So Article 20. So that was 3 up. Yes, that was 3 up. <laughs> Software development for data management modules. So, I mean, you know, I this is the one thing that when I'm looking at, I wish I had more information because I regret last year's vote for the electronic tabulation, which I recall being told was necessary. And then to find out that it was really only necessary if the state approved ranked choice voting, which they didn't. And so now it's just a convenience and a fairly modest convenience as far as I was concerned. And I didn't, I mean, we approved it, I'm crying over spilled milk, I'm not even crying, but, um, and so I'm at the point where when it comes, do we really need this? What, su what suppositions is this based on? Well, this is, it's not the presentation that um, Jan made to us where she, I mean, she- No, this no. is for Lori. This is Lori. Oh, we have, Lori. Not, oh, had okay. a, we have right. not had a, any type of presentation about this that I recall. She, did she? I thought she did. Well, she maybe, no, maybe not. Just presented her offer. Because Jan's with it. I guess Jan's it must be. about the, the Zobrio and the, the employees to be able to- Right, where it was- yeah. Yeah, so so she showed that. I mean, it was I guess because it was a comparable amount, but that right. was ARPA funds. But that was ARPA funds, yes. And so with this one, um, well, I don't want to explain it for Lori, but from what from what I've seen of the presentation that I just happened to walk in, that she was getting, there are data management models. It says modules that she can use for tracking dog licenses. You know, all the stuff that she has to do. And it just forms right into letters easily, and it does a lot more than that, which I wasn't actually there for them. So if that's what it is, and the dog licenses are $10, then in the software, 
to put the dog license headings into letters is $8,000, right. then that's not a wise use of town right. funds, but that's what it is. I don't think it's just that though, it goes across. As a matter of fact, some of it would be for organizing the committees and appointments, which I have to tell you are really difficult to keep track of. Um, and, you know, I'm kind of hoping that if this does pass, that Louise can tap into it as well, because the two of them both work on that together. And then, you know, there wouldn't have to be too much back and forth between Lori and Louise. They could just have this one database. But other than that, I really didn't. I, I can't imagine you can get much software written for eight thousand dollars. I know you say I, this is, you know. I can't imagine that you need software written for it, and that you can't buy an off-the-shelf product that does the same thing for a couple hundred dollars. If well, if you, someone puts you, it in the time. To you're saying the town is a, has a software package that they use, and we can get it tweaked to no, this for is us. The new one. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, the new one. And is this a, this is just this is a one time cost? Is there an annual recurring cost? Do we know? She yeah, and so she, I think she put in her budget. Um, I forget how much it is now, but it would be an annual cost. It's not huge, um, for support. For, um, yes, right. Can I, can the select board take no position? You can abstain. Yeah. Just if they just don't feel like they have enough information. Uh, I'll, I'll vote aye. So I, I think I, my, my, my rule of thumb has always been to vote no. If you can't make bring yourself to vote yes. So we're one, I, one, I and one. So we'll, we'll okay. one, one and one. That's okay. Right. Wow, interesting. We got to make this traumatic. There you go. That's traumatic. <laughs> that's what I draw. We got to give the people a show, right? <laughs> that's, what, that's what everyone goes to town meeting for. <laughs> um, all right. Article 21. To see if the town will raise an appropriate. Five thousand for future reval work. Yeah, we do. We always do need that. Yeah, it used to be fifteen thousand. She wants you to do it to, by law. You have to reval every three years. Yeah, so it's just to three five thousand every year rather than fifteen thousand every third. It's the way that the municipal budget grows because every time you read these. Yep. Yes. Yeah. So, yes, on 20. I'm um, a yes. Yeah. Next one will be for me. In case there's a great case of matching funds in the middle of the year, 5,000. So, this isn't a revolving fund? No. This, and it, so it goes back to the Town, if you don't need it. Yes, I believe that. Yes. Hey, does anybody care if I drop out? Yep, let's see you, Roy. Okay, same here. Bye, Stay Roy. well, everybody. Yep. Take so care. I vote yes. Bye. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll say yes to that as well. People always say, write more grants. Right, more right. Grants. Well, this is what I'm 23 is the contribution to the library, which I always feel is criminally insufficient, um, but it's the man's will. He still controls this town from the grave a hundred and something years later. Um, but it's the truth. I mean, they're not, the terms of his will is that they can't ask the town for any financial assistance. And saying they should go to the local orphans court so they have an orphans court for this thing, <laughs> this sort of thing you, can, really? you can amend the terms of a will 100 years later wow and show that it's so this is this is what it costs us to be a member of the library wormals right oh, in western i hope so i, I think we did we join that back but no we, yeah, yeah. yes yes it definitely we were, we were not a member of it and then because we were not a member of it, people in Conway could not take the books out of Forbes, Johnson, Jones, right. yeah. Eddie Library in Amherst, yeah. uh, Williamsburg, yeah. and one more town. Yep. I know it's there. He goes to and, and So we went to the state and said, what's the minimum oh, amount right. of money that we can, yeah, that is. we have to raise in town meeting in order for us to right. join 
the regional library system. When I when I when I see in the other towns budgets that all the other neighboring towns, their library line item is six figures. Yes, very close to it. No, we still depend on field. You know, yeah. I mean that that money is still critical, okay. but um, but we have to vote some money in town meeting, and the library board has to justify then how they spent that money and submit that to the state in order for us to join the regional library system. I vote yes. You do. Yes. Sorry. Article 24, 5,000 Medi Medicaid revolving fund to pay related reimbursement expenses. That's got to spend money to get so this is what we just talked about just a couple of minutes ago something similar so yes for that yep oh that's a yes now the wording for the next two was taken from the language from the one that was passed for chief baker so it may not be needed for either. We don't know, but just in case. It's easier to keep it in there and pass over. And is that just because it's for a retirement of 65 for police, yes. fire, and... Okay. Yeah, we extended Chief Baker to the age of 70, especially. But it will depend on not the ability to insert these items into the list. Uh-huh. So I'd still support it. You know. yeah. Basically, what that means was that the town will authorize you all to request the legislation for this thing. I'm yes for the I'm yes. 25 and I'm yes for 26. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. 27. That's another one that's just sort of boilerplate. The authority to do that to apply for the grants. No, I didn't understand that when she was talking about that. So we already have that authority. Why do you need to spell it out? Like, what's the point? But, um, just make it clear. So this is from Donna. This is her like boilerplate. This is what the, the package that she takes to every town. The things that you need. So is Article Twenty Eight. Yes. And since she will be there, it's easier oh. just to put this one over for it. Oh, she'll be there. It's cool. Right. Okay, so I'll support 27 yeah. and 28. Okay. I think she lives in Greenfield. I know she, her office is in Greenfield. I don't know where she, I don't know. We'll find out. I thought she was a Hilltown gal. Oh. The Bob's, yes, for 27. Uh, I am too. Oh. Yes, yes, me too. And that's after the finance right? The other articles don't require anything. Oh, yeah, so you're right. That's correct. The rest of CPA stuff. My apologies. I don't know that I got the article 28 from the finance committee. Oh, yeah, you're right. Oh. That was on the surplus properties. Oh. If you wrote that and I Hold on. Let me missed check it. My notes. I stuck around. Article third expenditure grant funds. You know, it might have been different on the one that you had. Yeah. Okay. You wrote it for all in favor. That's, that's no, this one is to see if um, the, the town will authorize the disposal of any property that is declared surplus by the select board. Mm -hmm. And it was right after the one yeah. about accepting grants. Yeah. We didn't have, so we didn't vote on. 
I hadn't put it in. No, I. <laughs> Uh, I'll call that anyway. I get a hold. You ever been able to declare anything surplus? <laughs> I don't have to remember that. Here it is. So we. Yes, no, yeah. FCAT recently went through a lot of stuff throwing out old, you know, old cameras and things that don't maybe not even work anymore. And uh and you know if and they a, had to clear it's a problem. I'm not planning on doing this anytime anyway, so we could always put it in for special town meeting. Oh really? What, do we have any surplus equipment? Anything is imminent? Nothing, nothing imminent. No. You can always take up a vote on that. A Florida town meeting too, if you have. I mean, again, this was just one of the boilerplates that went in. Right. You know. So. so do you want to leave it in here, and the finance committee doesn't make a recommendation? I mean, it's not really a finance committee thing. I don't know why you would have yeah. to make a recommendation yeah. anyway. That, that's how it came to me. Uh, right. Right. But. So. Yeah, there's no monetary. Well, it is about potentially town assets. It so is town assets. You know, fiduciary role. Over a certain amount of money, but yeah. we don't really have the surplus. It's over like ten grand or whatever the limit is. So. Not even Ron's equipment up there, gathering rust behind by the grammar school. <laughs> That's surplus, all right. Yeah. Tell that for scrap, right? <laughs> I'm I'm fine leaving it out until. Okay. Should we take it out? So, table it until. Yeah, sure. For next year. Or One something. fewer articles I have to yeah. explain. <laughs> Someone will remember. Donna. Actually, you could leave it out because there'll be a lot of discussion about what the town should get. What, what, what is it? Right. Our, our, our definition might differ from some people in town. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Article 29. No, 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 I think we're done. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. Thank you very much. See you at the pre-meeting. Yeah. Right. Right. Uh, that's a yes for me. Yeah. 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 Oh, I apologize. Maybe it didn't. Maybe the last one, the CPC one, I guess there isn't a recommendation. Right? Because it's, uh, I think nope. it's required. Oh, no recommendation. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't think there was last year. I'll kind of go by whatever was in last year. So, And I'm not sure about the citizen one either. That's one because I don't know that you need to recommend because it was a citizen petition. Yeah, I don't so, know. So I'd rather not. I would, yeah, I would yeah. have to recommend it. Yeah, I would. I would. About 32. 31. No, that's the one we don't have to take a position on. Citizen that is a it was, you know, it was a duly signed, submitted citizen petition. So I don't know that. The... If I want to take a position on it, I say yes. Okay, I, I would vote yes on it if you want to take a position on it. Yeah, in theory, I mean, but. We bring it up in town meeting all the time. <laughs> you know, this, we would have money for this. Well, no, because the four percent just goes back to the state. That doesn't mean that we get four percent of right. Isn't that how this works? That all goes. We would get. We would get more. Everything all across the state. Okay. Yeah, that's true. All right. Let's. Sure. Good. We'll say Take three out. We'll say yes. Looks fine to me for 32. Um, I'm looking at 32. Those are just pretty minor changes. 
Yeah. So, so for section one, it was really just saying instead of saying may, it would just be after any town meeting for that sentence. And the other one basically just takes up a reference to the afternoon of the time so that it's not codified. Set it up. You can set it whenever you want anyway, but it wouldn't be in bylaw. Um, the personnel committee one. Well, uh, well. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Let's, let's, yeah. So we can just say everybody <laughs> in favor of this. Sure, um, I would say yeah. I'm in uh, favor. Yeah, of those changes to section one and two. Yeah. I yes. like doing an instant referendum too. An instant non-binding referendum afterwards. Vote on the time that you'd like the meeting at 10 o'clock or one o'clock. Pick. Let people pick. So is that three oh? Yeah. Um, so we've been having trouble getting uh -huh. members of the personnel committee. Um, we had somebody who I had to say, it was very according to our bylaws, you can't be on the, on the committee, which was a shame. So this was just a suggestion. Again, this is one that I've gone through with town council. Yeah, but um, so the, the thought was, as long as they're not a currently paid employee. Yeah, that makes sense to me. I, I, at this point, have real doubts as to whether it's worth making a change for that one person, and that might be just better off. It wouldn't necessarily have that one person, especially if okay. that one person's. Well, this would certainly open the pool of people eligible to participate in the committee in general. So what is the change? On um, F, it says all voting members appointed must not be a current paid employee, which was added, or paid elected official, uh, I did say, for a period of three years prior to serving on. So it's, it's adding that word paid in there. Correct. Current employee, Correct. current paid employee. I think um, any time that we, when we do this, when it's this, like committees like this, that have to generate all this paperwork going to buy me was hard becomes because when you do that it becomes really a one person there's one person yeah hard. and you know this was just a suggestion we could always get it for another i'm fine tabling it i, I actually would be okay the irony is it'd be nice to have a personnel committee review it right <laughs> It'd be nice to have a personal committee, yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm in favor if it's going to stay on. I'm also fine with tabling it. Any opinions, Rob? Uh, I would say let's not have it in here. But I mean, I, I would have a very hard time explaining why I think this is a great idea. All right. Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, um, let's break it. Uh, you know, with this change, would we get a personnel committee? I, 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 I don't know. Yeah, Article 34, we really need to do when we can do the lawyer thing. Yeah, and we need the article, to. Article 34, Section 4, we ought to be able to appoint a successor immediately. And we need to spell. Council correctly. On the death of a prior time council. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so now to wait. Oh, the timing of that though. Oh my god. <laughs> these these the seventies was when the town council was always a town resident, sometimes a selected member. Can we table this one as well? No, we want. We want this. I want this. Yeah, I, I uh, I'm. This. I'm in favor of this. Thirty-four, section four. Yes. Okay, so three. Oh. Um, Thirty-five was another town council recommendation, and um, Mike and Jan worked together to create the table there of the ones, the funds that we have that fit in the chapter forty-four, section fifty-one e and a half. Um. So those have all been reviewed, and my understanding is that it, this just makes it codified in our bylaws that these are our revolving funds and makes it easier um, in subsequent years to just. Mm -hmm.
great. It looks a lot better than it used to. Um, hello. I hope you don't mind to stay Hi. here. I'm yeah. listening. I'm learning. But if I it's not okay, I can go. No. Yes, it's okay. <laughs> okay. I want you to come Thank to you. all of our meetings. Thank you. Thank you. Anna. <laughs> all the meetings. I'm just learning. Yeah. Thank yeah. You. I said so this is a yes for me. Me too. Like that's the yes, three zero on the revolve. Yeah. Uh -huh. Thank you. Thirty six. Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Is select board one word or two? Did we ever? One. I think it's one. It's one. I know that my word processor is always. I know. It drives me nuts. Take it to where? It me nuts. My word processor still can't spell my name. Like, I just, like there's got to be a way that you can like change that. But... You can't have it learned. I, I keep saying. I just. <laughs> so the article uh, 37 does not concern us. What do you mean? It's not a select board matter. Yeah. Oh, okay. The planning board, and that's the last one. Okay. Right. So we don't have to make any. Great. It doesn't even have our name there. So. Good. Perfect. Excellent. So we don't have to sign this yet, right? Not until this. Like, no. Until oh. until, yeah. But I've got, to, I've got to fix, you know, just make it look great. We're pretty all right. But. Yeah. Um, so we're not voting yet to close it out, not until the oh, no. we, we could vote to close it. Oh, okay. It. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I move that we close the warrant. I I second that. I all in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank Unanimous. Thank you. So we have closed the warrant. You our articles. We voted each article. No. Right from land trusts, like Ike. I'm the only one in this half of the state that's against this. Because so. <laughs> there was a terrible wreck last year, oh. the last time they had it, yeah. right in front of my house. Oh. <laughs> and the going down, I was at, right in front of Michael Campbell and Karen uh -huh. Brinda's house, and it was all bicyclists. Oh. But some one of one person riding by themselves decided to take a breather right around the bend of like a blind downhill like right in front of that yellow house and what happened was a group of like 30 bicyclists all like in in like you know like at that speed came and they all ran this guy over because they couldn't see him until the last second and there were so many people whatever and he broke his leg and he broke whatever and there was a, but i just remember him screaming in agony for like 20 minutes and just I thinking, don't think we should not have a bike and, of it. And just thinking that this was that. like, this is from a bike thing? And this is just bicycling, just running another bicycler over. Well, so this is really just a courtesy letter saying that it's happening again. And they yes. would appreciate knowing where the roads are closed. And yes. They can't yeah. promise there's not going to be any trauma in and front of your house. Dangerous. My house is too dangerous for that. So as Erica says, the Franklin County Land Trust is holding a fundraiser bike ride <laughs> on August 20th. Yeah. Phil will be out of town. <laughs> he just can't handle this. <laughs> this the guy just screamed for 20 minutes. So they find the ambulance got there and gave him whatever he needed to get. And our next meeting is <clears throat> May okay. 2nd. Next Monday. May 2nd. Same bad time, second. same bad channel. Oh, it's now. I'm great. Yes. Very good. Okay. Um, second. Hi. Nice. Hey. nice to see you all. Nice, nice to see you. you. We're done. Yeah. Bye. Good.